Are you familiar with something called imposter syndrome? Yeah, but break it down to me. So like, um, I, this is, I've felt it and I still deal with it time to time. But, um, for example, uh, I've been teaching piano for, um, 14 going on 15 years now. Yeah. And, uh, to this day, I still, it's gotten, it's gotten better, but I've always felt like sometimes a bit of a fraud with it in the sense that like, I'm not good enough to achieve results. And I have been, I've gotten, I've got a wait list with students, but it's always in the back of my mind, this idea of not being good enough. Or for example, uh, I was, I got a pretty big, uh, the, I was doing the music for a big ad campaign for uh, a, um, a company. Um, and they were using, they were using a, a famous song by the Isley brothers and uh, they, their, their license was ending. And I was like, okay, so I have to follow that song and write something like that. And they wanted something in a similar vein. And the whole time I'm like, what am I, I don't belong. Like, this isn't, I can't do this. Kind of that, that kind of mentality. That's the imposter syndrome where you don't feel like you, you feel like you're an imposter that you shouldn't be doing this because you aren't worthy of it. And even, you know, that I'm confident in my skills, I still get that from time to time from both of those facets. You described 100% how I felt like at that creative job. Yeah. Like where I just didn't, towards the end, I didn't feel like I was good enough. You know, the feedback that I was getting and stuff, even though like I had the skills. Right. Like to do what I needed to do. Right. Uh, I, it, I really, it really got in my head. I think part of that's because in that case and in my, and in my case with the clients for this song, for the production of that yeah. uh, is, um, if you could write what you want, when it gets really targeted and you're not true to, to express your art as you want it, it has to be, it has to be this way, like this, like that. It, it takes away some of the artistry side of it, like your creative outlet. So you don't quite no, it's not like you, it's not your niche. You don't feel comfortable with it. It's like, for example, if you're a great soul singer and then your band decides to become a pop act and you're like, I don't know much about pop, you know, and I can kind of maybe try to sing pop, but it's not my wheelhouse. And so you don't feel comfortable in that vein. Yeah. So that could be part of it. You know, it's like, yeah, you're not, it's not your comfort zone. Right. I dude, you just said that. Like, I've heard this thing for the longest time. Yeah. And I've been like, what does that mean? You broke it down. And I'm like, that's how I felt. Yeah. That's how I felt at work, man. <laughs> and I think like, yeah, that that's probably why I was like so not as happy on the inside. Right. If, um, for me with photography. So I was, uh, and I'll, I'll share some photography with you because I, sure. I, I, I know you do too. But um, I was, uh, I, I love doing creative action stuff in photography. I was doing like uh, karate schools action stuff that with black background, very dramatic and stuff. Yeah. But whenever I was doing weddings, I'm like, I didn't feel up to snuff. And it's a different beast altogether. Uh, and I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll never do weddings again. I was just thought I was going to get into it. When I, when I did do, do weddings, I was like, I, I, I suck. Even though they like the pictures and everything like that. I was like, and I think it has to do with, again, it not being your comfort, you're out of your comfort zone. I think yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I'm resonating with this right now. Dude. <laughs> like my, my mind is opening up to it because, um, yeah, I remember like turning in work and knowing inside I was like, this is not this, this, this is, is me I, or something. I'm, I'm not I'm not good at this. Like right. I was I'm not good at this and they're not gonna like it. You know, like I just felt like I wasn't it was it wasn't I wasn't no, I just didn't feel like it was me. Right. Yeah. It wasn't you, so it, it couldn't click. It goes back to what you're saying. If what you're doing is honest and resonating and it has purpose, I think there people, were some things that I would do for them at the company where I was like, This is a hundred percent me, boom, and I felt confident and it resonated with the work. Yeah. But then there was stuff that I was doing to appease them. And you knew and I knew it was right. sorry. Yeah, that's all right, no worries, no, it's all good. You